Hey guys, Fire here from In-Depth Gaming, bringing you another game review. This time we're checking out Four Kings Video Poker. This game was developed and published by Digital Leisure and released on June 9th, 2021 for a price of $4.99. Um, there's not a whole lot to talk about this game. It's pretty much what you'd expect. It is a video poker style game like you'd see in most casinos. You're dealt an initial set of five cards. You select the cards you want to keep. You redeal up to a new set of five based on the cards you, uh, don't keep and try to get the best hand from a pair that's a face card pair or higher all the way up to you know that cool royal flush um you can change your bet incrementations in the game um by values of up to 200 and you can kind of try to win as many chips as you want um you know the game does give you kind of like courtesy point in the sense of if you do run out of chips it'll just give you more chips and then you'll just kind of continue trying to get the best hands you could possibly go for. Um, one thing that is kind of cool to note in the game is it does offer stat tracking. So for those people out there that do like achievements and you know want to try to get the best possible, uh, or the quickest way, I guess, and the best possible way to track your achievements and how you're progressing through a game, it is kind of nice. Um, if you go here to the main menu here, you can actually see all the overall hands you've played, the best things you've ever won, and you know what you've done for the achievements. Achievement-wise, the game is pretty simple. You'll need to just end up playing a total of 500 hands, win a couple hundred games, and then get some specific types of hands. Um, I know some gamers have had to you know, spend a couple thousand hands trying to get all the specific achievements that the game does offer. Or, you know, some of you will get lucky, like myself, where you can get all the initial achievements in the game in your first 500 hands. Um, I'd say the most challenging achievement that you'll probably be stuck on is trying to get a four of a kind or better, which is getting four of the same card, uh, or a straight flush all in the same suit, or a royal flush, which is jack to ace all in the same suit. Um, there's not really too much more to talk about the game. Control-wise, it's super simple to play. Uh, analog stick to move around and select cards, and then A button just to select your actions here on the screen. Um, I would like to have maybe seen the game offer something for new players to maybe explain how poker actually works, because if you don't really know how to play poker, you'll have to go to kind of somewhere else to, you know, externally to try to figure out what hands are. If you don't know what a flush is, that a flush is all the same suits, or know what a full house is, you know, you're probably not going to have too much of an idea of really what to do when you're playing the game or really understanding how to play video poker if you've never done that before. Um, overall though, the game does deliver on what it promises. It's just a simple click and video poker game on your TV. Um, there's nothing really too challenging. It's just the one game though. I would like to have seen, you know, a lot more, you know, poker style hands, maybe having the option to play Texas Hold'em or Blackjack, you know, really pair more than just one game in the package of this game. Um, you know, especially for five bucks, yeah, I'm getting poker, but I would like to have had a couple other types of poker options. I do know that the uh, game developers look and publishers are looking to release other casino s style games on the console, and we've been seeing an influx of these type of games. But yeah, overall, if I have to give the game any type of, re of a review, I'm probably going to give the game about a 5 out of 10. It delivers on what it promises, but there's you know, not a lot here. I'd like to maybe be able to customize the cards, change the deck, change the color of my table, you know, just have a little more like customization feel on the game, which I can't imagine is too hard of a thing to add into the game. So who knows, maybe they'll give us an update and make it a little more uh, user friendly. I am kind of glad that the game doesn't really have microtransactions as I can see some people going a little crazy when you don't really need to because the game doesn't really punish you for running out of chips. It just always refunds your bank. And I imagine if you're lucky enough to hit that royal flush, you'll probably never really need to pick up chips again. Uh, overall though, if you guys do end up picking up the game, let us know what you think. We do have an achievement guide on the channel, so if you want to kind of get a little bit of a walkthrough on my experiences and advice on how to get all the achievements as quick as possible in under an hour and a half to two hours, you know, go check that out. Outside of that, I hope you guys have a great day. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up, and we'll catch you next time.